I want to talk about the number one issue that beginner fish aquarium hobbyists have as far as having their fish die on them. The number one thing to know when setting up an aquarium is that every aquarium, you know, the average person just thinks they can buy a fish tank, throw water in it, and put a fish inside of it, but that's actually not the case. You have to think of fish aquariums as a small ecosystem, and what they need is called beneficial bacteria. And if if you need to know one thing of setting up a new tank, it's the fact of you need that beneficial bacteria to make the water safe for the fish. Um, without getting too scientific into this, what you want to do is uh, when you buy your fish at your pet store, ask the employee for a chunk or a piece of the filter paper inside of their aquarium. And what you're going to want to do is put that filter piece inside of your filter and run it through all of your water. And basically you're jump starting this cycle process and this is going to make your tank known as being established as an ecosystem. So this is the number one reason why fish die. And uh, because what happens is, you know, you can put new water into an aquarium and fill it with water and put the fish in there and they, they will probably be able to live if they're somewhat sturdy fish, especially goldfish. But what happens is they start to poop and the bio load adds up and that's where the beneficial bacteria come in and break down that, you know, that bio load substance that's in the water. But, you know, that's the process between having the bio load, you know, the beneficial bacteria make that, you know, they are, bleh, I can't speak now, but the word beneficial, you know, it helps it make it so that the, the water is safe for the aquarium fish. And long story short, this is the number one problem aquarists have with their fish dying. And once you actually have an aquarium set up that's established as an ecosystem, your fish are going to be completely healthy. And another uh, term, um, another piece of advice is that, you know, the bigger aquarium you buy, the better. And if you're battling with a 10-gallon aquarium, you're better off going out and getting a 30-gallon tank. By the way, this is a 30-gallon long, and uh, it's, you know, fish aquariums are really tough because you need to battle between being a hobby and getting serious and just buying a decent-sized tank that's going to be easier to take care of. Um, yeah, hit up the comment section if you guys have any problems or questions because hopefully I have established myself on what I'm trying to say here as the number one issue of why fish die, and... Uh, I, I get tons of questions on my channel daily due to this and uh, it all comes down to making sure your ecosystem is properly set up with some beneficial bacteria. So yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. I'm trying to uh, put together a bunch of care guides on some of the most popular aquarium fish in the industry and also some of the most uh, popular questions asked. So. Uh, yeah, I got a big fish room here. I got uh, other tanks. And, uh, yeah. All right, cool, guys. Thanks.